Bam! Oh, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, they're huge! Oh, it's everything I hoped it would be! Hello, everybody! Gray still plays, and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS. You're gonna notice a slightly different surrounding here, and there's a reason why. The brand new DLC is out, and with it came the Himalayas, as well as patch 1.7 that brought a plethora of new updates. You can read it all in the patch notes on the C on the Steam store. Some of the updates are improved graphics and little images and stuff like that as we can see here from this little guy that guy is adorable i do believe that is a marmot yes that is a marmot and they redid the way that plants are rendered yet again so hopefully that'll take the strain off of some people's systems and it looks like the biomes are much larger in general scope now. This is only one pie section of this biome. Very first thing I want to do is open up the rest of these biomes so that we can get more energy because I want to make sure that our energy is maxed out. There we go. And we're going to have plenty of Taito coins left to purchase all of the creatures, I hope. We have 551 so far, so let's go ahead and check it out. Now, Along with this brand new biome, it wouldn't be complete, of course, without a whole group of new plants and animals. We see a couple here that are back. The joint fur is back. But look at all these. All these are different. Himalayan fairy grass. Holy cow. I don't even know what that is. We'll come back to it. Blue poppy, goji, bamboo, pomegranates. Very good for you, by the way. Himalayan balsam. Himalayan honeysuckle. Himalayan birch. Everything's Himalayan. Wood apple. All right, that's pretty simplistic. Banji oak, or just banj. Oh, just banj oak. Almost wanted to say banji or banjo. And D. Odar cedar. Not really sure what that means, but that just means that there's a ton more things for us to read about in the biodex. Now, you're going to notice that the unlock cost of these is actually quite high for some of them. So maybe I won't be able to unlock everything. Let's take a look at the different animals. The Marmot, Moth, and Ann are back. Oh, it's a Pika! Not a Pikachu, just a regular Pika. It's like, what came before the Pikachu? This is half of a Pikachu. The other half is the Chew. I don't really know where they are. But this Pika is at least something that we can make. You know what? I'm going to put one of these down right now because I want to. There we go. We're going to read about him in a little bit. The Red Fox, my foxy brethren, is back. And we're going to have to unlock him because he's only one Taito coin. So let's do that. The green hawk moth? That sounds amazing! I'm gonna unlock that too! Actually, a lot of these sound really cool. We've got a red panda, a chevrotain? Sounds very almost princely. The Paris peacock butterfly. Man, look at all these cool new pollinators. I'm really glad to see these because. In life, I love butterflies. They're so awesome, and I'm glad to see a whole bunch more here. Snow Leopard. A Muntjack. Whatever that is. A Dole. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Looks kind of fox-like. I'm pretty sure. Musk Deer. Chinese Pangolin. Not a penguin, but a pangolin. I don't know what that creature is. We'll have to take a look at this. The Gray Wolf is back. The Asian Black Bear. Oh, that's pretty cool. Bangled Tiger. One horned rhino and the Asian elephant. That is something else. Look at those critters. On top of that, we have a stag beetle for another Ditrius remover. And you can see this stag beetle does a pretty gosh dang good job of removing Ditrius. All right, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is start unlocking some stuff. I want to at least get one of these huge creatures unlocked. You, you guys know it. I have to unlock this elephant because we all want to know how big it is. <laughs> the elephant, you know. And I do want to unlock some of these other cool things, too. Man, this peacock butterfly sounds awesome. I want to unlock that for sure. The red panda should be pretty cool. Let's move over here to the plants. Ooh, bamboo, huh? Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, goji. I want to unlock that. That sounds awesome. I want to unlock some trees. And what I'm going to do is... Those aren't trees at all. What I'm going to do is save some of my title coins so that you guys can tell me what you want me to unlock let me unlock like one more item 
Let's unlock... What else do we have here that looks kind of cool? This pomegranate. Yeah, another fruit tree. Let's unlock that. Okay, guys, so we've got 215 title coins left. There's still a bunch of things to unlock. If you want to leave in the comments what you want me to unlock next out of all these different creatures, let me know. For right now, though, let's start putting down some grasses. I do want to get some things for all these little guys to eat. Wouldn't want them to starve. Let's take a look at how their hunger is doing. Oh, their hunger's fine. Eh, actually, everyone's pretty good, so not too worried about it. What is this plant? I want to see what this is like. Oh, Oh, we have to buy it. Oh, that's too bad. How about the goji? Let's see what that looks like. Let's take a look at this real quick. This is pretty neat. Now, I know what this has fruit on it. Oh, we don't have any pollinators. You know what? We're going to want one of those right away. If I remember correctly, I do believe that we unlocked the peacock butterfly. There it is. Let's put this right in the middle, and let's take a look at what these guys look like. Let's get nice and close here. Get rid of this. There we go. Yeah, let's zoom right in on this. Ooh, how about the... Ah, here we go. Neat. Ooh, we can actually even probably zoom up a little bit and take a look at their wings a little bit better. That's pretty cool. It's like a turquoise kind of outline with some lime green dots moving toward the tips. Oh, thank you. Four more title coins. That'll help out when we start unlocking everything. Go forth and pollinate, guys. We need these gojis to eventually flower and fruit. And while that is happening, let us continue. Oh, man. Asian elephant. These guys are herbivores, and they're huge. They're probably all going to die because I don't have enough plants, but let's put one down. Let's do it. Yes. Bam. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they're huge. Oh, it's everything I hoped it would be. This is cool because, ah, <laughs> it just falls off. Is this how elephants sleep? Is this how they sleep? They just topple over. Oh, it's like the elephant Jenga. No, they're all down. Okay, they're starting to wake up. Pretty cool though. Size, fairly accurate, I would say. There's a marmot compared to an elephant. And yeah, I would say that's pretty dang realistic. Very cool to see such larger creatures like this. Man, let's get these guys some plants right away. No doubt they are going to want various plants of great size and power. Probably like this pomegranate. Perhaps. I don't know. Not really 100% sure what exactly these guys eat. Oh, some ferns. That sounds good. Let's put a couple of those down over there and over here. And we'll do some more joint furs as well. We'll put them like a couple out there and a couple over here. Now, I remember a commenter had mentioned that he would think that you really don't need to be like as dense as I put these different territories. You probably don't. The reality is, though, is that I was used to having a much smaller area to work with. This area that we have to work with is really, really big. I mean, even when I sprint like this, look at the size of this place. And it's got like these cool ledges. Look at this. It's got like these neat shelves on it that go all the way around. Holy cow, this place is like really big comparatively. Uh, let's go ahead and move all along here. There we go. I noticed that if you zoom, it'll actually shuffle you along a little bit faster than normal, which is nice. Let's go and click on these elephants real quick and read a little bit about them. Their diet, Asian elephants need to eat about 150 kilograms each day to survive. They eat grass, leaves, bark, and stems, but also enjoy bananas and other fruit. Wood apple is a particular favorite. All right, guys, I may have to unlock that just so we have it. Predators. Though tigers will occasionally prey on elephant calves, Asian elephants suffer most from humans. Deforestation has severely limited their range and poaching elephants for their ivory tusks is a continual drain on the population. Ivory poaching is doubtly harmful, is doubly, I'm sorry, not doubtly, ivory poaching is doubly harmful to Asian elephants. Only males grow tusks and they are left to die after the tusks are removed. This leads to situations where there are too few males to sustain population numbers. Notes. Elephants play an important role in the ecology of their homes. They defecate up to 18 times a day, dispersing plants, seeds in the process. Okay, so let's go and grab the wood apple tree. It is 100 title coins. 
It's okay though, what I want to do is let's go over here to our, I think it's game options? No, that wasn't it at all. Game play. And let's increase this up to one month. This way we will get to have much more title coins when we log in. I've had everything only at like a week because we had that instance where like everything was dying really fast and I felt really bad killing everyone. Well, I, I wasn't killing them, but I was allowing them to die, I guess. And I felt really bad about that. So I went ahead and made it so that everyone only a week passed. And holy cow, someone likes those gojis. I assume it is the elephants. All right, where is this wood apple? There we go. Let's put a couple of these guys down. Here you go, elephants. Chew on that. Oh my god, I put this wood apple down and like this elephant topped over immediately. It's almost like it got attacked by the wood apple. No, buddy. Don't faint. I know. You can't believe that you're getting fed, but it's this is really happening. Let's put all kinds of these wood apples down because apparently they're big favorites to everyone. Fruit and leaves is what they can give. Maybe another pomegranate tree as well. Now that we've done that, I'm not going to be spending Tidal Coins to get energy as much because I do want to save these. Holy cow, look at this. Look at this elephant. He really wants something to eat. Uh, no edible leaves, though, in this pomegranate. So what are you eating, good sir? Oh, are you eating my ferns? Bet you are. That's just fine, though. I'll put more down for you. you guys love these ferns, don't you? Man, this area is really big. And that's cool, though, because you can see how far these elephants kind of wander. And it's neat. It almost feels a lot more realistic now because of how large their their grazing range is. Man, these goji plants just got really whooped up on. Put some more animals down. Little animals. Doesn't have to be all big. Uh, the red panda, I'll bet, will want things like bamboo, no doubt. More marmots, though. That can't hurt. Well, I guess it could if we put down too many. If we put down red foxes, too, they will feed on the marmots as well as the plants. In fact, I'm going to put down some additional joint furs for everyone to enjoy. And it looks like that fox right there was pretty impressed with my joint fur dispersion. He went right for it. What else should I put down here? Probably more mushrooms, just to continue to help with the detrius. It doesn't look like it's an issue right now. How are these mushrooms doing? 13 of 20. So someone is definitely eating them. Oh, another thing to consider. There are uh, at least one new music tracks. And we're hearing it right now. Very nice. Like the new music tracks? Can't wait to hear more of them. I love music and games. And I don't like it, obviously, to be overpowering to the point where I can't hear anything else going on in the game. But I like the fact that I can sit back if I wanted to and hear these, these neat little riffs that are happening. Man, there are so many things to unlock. This is really great. We're going to have a time, guys. We're going to have to unlock all this. More goji. More goji for sure. Because everyone seems to like it. This elephant may be liking this joint fur here. Yeah, he sure is. 120 leaves, and he is scarfing that down big time. Another eight title coins? That sounds good. I'll take eight title coins any day of the week. I could put down some more ferns, but I think instead I'm going to put down more goji. Because goji is awesome. And everyone is a fan. Let's take a look at how bad these gojis look now. Now, is this just because... Yeah, this is not the way this goji is supposed to look. I was going to say, it's not because it's being pollinated or something. It's because it's straight up being eaten like nobody's business. Hello there, little marmot. Actually, are you a pika or a marmot? Let me click on you. There we are. It's a pika. And that's the sound it makes. Little squeaker. Let's read about the pika real quick. Pikas are herbivores who eat a variety of grasses, seeds, and other greens. Because of their small size, pikas are prey to many animals like leopards. Notes. Pikas have been known to make their own hay. They sometimes harvest grasses and roots, then lay them out in the sun to dry. They store hay this way inside their burrows to eat during the winter if food becomes scarce outside. And we can see, there, and we can see here, there are definitely some snow-capped areas, so to speak. Right here on this, on this little hill, this little hillock, and also on the shelves up there. Very cool. 
think I'm going to put down some more. I can put down another wood apple in just a second. We're going to have enough energy to do that. There we go. Wood apple, go. Excellent. Where are you, my pollinator? How far are you able to get? Are you able to pollinate everything? No, you're not. We actually need to put down another pollinator, so that's fine. Now, we did the Paris peacock butterfly, which means we want to do something new and exciting. We're going to do this green hawk moth. Very curious to see what this look, looks like. Let's go ahead and wait for 25 energy. There we go. Put this guy right about here. There we are. Let's take a look at this green hawk moth. Oh, they're, they're so tiny. Oh, oh, they're, they're stagnant. They're not moving. Uh-oh. Are you guys resting? They're resting in midair. They're hovering. They're frozen. I'm not sure what happens. Hopefully, they're still pollinating everything. I guess if nothing else, this gives us an excellent opportunity to look at exactly what they look like. Let me go ahead and zoom away in here. Oh, oh, hey, there we go. All right. So, green hawk moth. Pretty neat. Very you can see how different the body shape is compared to the butterflies. Are my butterflies still moving around? Let's take a look. Yep, the butterflies are hopping and jumping just fine. I think we have some fruits on this tree. Oh, we do. 38 of 150 fruits from the pomegranate. Nice. How about our wood apple? Is this thing, is this thing? No, it's still in stasis. So we've got nothing there yet. But these pomegranates are doing just fine. Wow. Nice. This was not pollinated. Interesting. Well, hopefully it'll be pollinated soon while we're at it. Let's grab. What else should I put down here? You know, I guess we can probably put down a red panda. It should eat more than just bamboo, right? I hope so. Let's go ahead and put some down just to see what they look like. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like a cross between a raccoon and a panda bear. Look at that. Are you guys impressed with any of the smorgasbords I put out for you? Oh, this guy's running. Where's he running to? Let's follow him. Where are you going? You going for these ferns? No, you don't care about the ferns. You going for this tree? No, you don't care about the tree. You going for that tree? You want the farthest possible tree? All right, looking good. Looking good. Let's go ahead and click on this tree, actually. And see. It doesn't have any fruits. This tree has no fruits. Oh, did you hear that sound? That is the red panda right there, guys. What an interesting sound they make, too. Did not expect that. Don't really know much about red pandas, though. Let's find out some right now. Much like the giant panda, the red panda's diet is almost exclusively bamboo. They are omnivores, though, and will eat bird eggs, berries, and small lizards. The red panda's main predator is the snow leopard. When in danger, red pandas take to the trees to escape. Huh. Red pandas love bamboo, but bamboo leaves are poor in nutrients, so rather than look for healthier food, red pandas lounge about and don't expend any energy for about half of their day. Well, lucky you guys. It's like being a cat. So maybe instead of being a mix between a panda and a raccoon, they're more like a mix between a panda and a cat. All right, guys, we have started on the Himalayas here. Our biome looking sparse, but there's so much more to get and do. We definitely need more title coins so I can start unlocking things. Like I said, let me know what you'd like to see me unlock out of all the different creatures. We'll start from there until the next time. Stay foxy and much love.